Welcome to Attila Total War, and today we are playing the best expansion there is. Age of Charlemagne, and we're going to do a Mercia Let's Play. Playing, of course, you know, I guess it's the English are as close to them as you can get. Uh, Mercia, here we go. So I got no idea how this is going to go. I've played this faction. Played it once. It went okay, uh, but I want to give it another go. Let's see how we can do. Welcome everyone in the chat. Hope you can enjoy. Hope this is good, and let's begin. So, yeah, victory objectives are okay. I think that's all okay. I think we can start. Ah, first of all, right, but Christian, faction leader is Ulfa. Ah, Melkor's voice, that's right. Um, and happy to see Melkor spice things up. I'm happy as well. It's always good to have something fresh. So we got Emancipators. Doubled unit replenishment when taking on defeated troops post-battle. So if we win a battle, we might be better off taking their troops if we get double. So I'll have to bear that in mind. Notice me. I notice your uh, Banerjee. I don't know if they've done a bother pronouncing my first party name. I'm not 12. <laughs> I'm 21. 21. Although I do look 12 and I have the room of a 12 year old as well if you saw my smiley face. How was the Minecraft stream? That was good, I enjoyed that one, a good laugh. Uh, part 2 to that should be on the Saturday. And that's where it should end. Um, extra income for every enemy unit destroyed. Right, so try destroy enemy units as well. Right, I think we can get in this campaign. Where are you from? I'm from Yorkshire, in Northern England. Uh, near York, near Leeds. Uh, no worries if you can't watch the stream um, uh, because it's too late. I have, you know, the, yeah, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday one are on the later times. Friday, Saturday, Sunday are on the earlier times. So I cover everyone in different time zones. The Anglo-Saxon lands fall submissive to your rule. The Mercian kingdom dominates, yet the island is not yet fully conquered. Alright, conquer the island. Asia Charlemagne, I love the war wariness mechanic. That should be in every total war, right. Reach Imperium 3. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, Viking country. This is literally where I'm from. Um, my house would be, if this is York, I'm just a little south. I'm actually close to this river, I think. So I think my house would be around here. Somewhere around here. I don't know, it's difficult to tell. Maybe more this way, actually. I don't know. Alright, so let's take a look at our family. Do we... No, actually, we'll, we'll do that last. I think diplomacy is first. So, who do we get along with? We got a tribute heavy state of Kent. Interesting. That won't last long. I'll want to kill them eventually. But interesting that we do have them. Um, Wessex, right. I do want to... Yeah, I want to get along with these people in the early game. You are welcome. So, ooh, hold on a minute. I've only got one region. Oh, that is one big region, isn't it? Okay, so maybe... I, yeah, I think I will get trade with them. Why is the devil the ad oh whatever? Why is the devil the advisor? I got no idea what he's done about. That that is not right, so basic trade. Uh, can we get it with Charlemagne himself? But may God strike us all dumb if we speak anything. Uh, maybe a non-aggression pact. Oh, nah. Right. I'll give it another go because I do want the but money from God it. Strike us all dumb if we speak Ooh, that's high. Truth in our deliberations. 
Alright, well, let's get a non-aggression pact to start off with. Let's try and get some money out of him for that. There we go. Hopefully that should boost relations and he'll accept something later on. I gotta turn this audio down. Uh, the speech, there we go. That speech is far too loud. Alright, can we get one more? Uh, Northumbria. Ooh, I, I don't know if I want one with Northumbria. I'd like to actually go to war with them and take their land at some point. What are they willing to accept? Ah, they don't want to anyway. Alright, who are we at war with? We're at war with the Welsh factions, aren't we? Yeah. We've got a tributary of Kent and we're trading with Kent and Wessex. Okay. Hello, I can't pronounce your name, sorry. <laughs> But welcome to the stream, all new people. What's the goal of the stream? Uh, the donation goal is £10 to pay for rent and internet so that these streams can keep happening. Uh, hopefully we can reach uh, £10. Link in the description. If you mean the gameplay goal, today we just have to conquer the British Isles. Tomorrow, uh, expand a little bit into Northern France or maybe for Denmark. I'm unsure yet. Right, so we need to make a move against these guys here. And what we first of all need to do, I think, is get this army into Chester. Yeah, who likes the Welsh anyway? Let's get them killed. Right, first of all, you go there. We need to sort out these settlements, sir. Is this one okay? This is done a bit urgent. Because it doesn't have any other supporting buildings or armies. Trade wharf. Ooh, that's, that's a bit annoying. Right, convert this over to... A fishing wharf. Get rid of the squalor issues, and also that'll fix the food issue. But we need public order. That's gonna be difficult to get. I don't know how I'm gonna get the public order down there. Maybe this guy can help. Yeah, this guy right here. <laughs> right, what's this? Inspire populace, right. She can come down here. And she can do that there. Right, she'll help out. Hopefully. Hopefully that should be enough. I want to upgrade these farms. What do we what do we need, first of all? Public order is important. Right, yeah, just upgrade the farms by one, even though we do have enough food. Get a bit of money out of it. Or do I go for the troops? Right, get another calf unit. Get some javelin men. How many more? Oh, that's it. Right, that should be good for now. Then go over to Chester. Right, might as well open this spot up. Yes, I will go for church. Boost public order here. And it'll boost it in this as well. Because churches in this game have something that I really like. Plus three public order in the region that it's in and plus one public order in adjacent territories. So it would help, like, London as well. Very good mechanic, I like how churches work there. Yeah, Northumbria seems like the natural route for our expansion. Uh, nope, we're nowhere near and in turn yet. Uh, we might have to lower tax. Really, it's at 10? Now that's quite rough. Hold on a minute. If we lower tax by... We only actually lose 100 gold. Actually, we can actually afford that. That is nothing. Here... You know, it's only a gold difference of like 300. That's it, and we get plus 4 growth in all settlements, and no public order penalties at all. Yeah, we might as well do that for now then. That's brilliant for us. Um, upgrade the farms. Yeah, get a bit more money out of that. That's definitely done a bit better than... Ooh. I'm actually doing go for the military building. I think that's the best bet. Why is London on a coast? Yeah, I've got no idea. It should be more over this way. 
I bet it's just to uh, reflect where it does have a harbour. Alright, what more do we have to do? Technology. There's a mission that says we've got to get this one, I think. Yeah, we've got to get that one, but I'm not going to go for it yet. Public order plus two or replenishment plus three percent. Got to go for the public order. Make sure the civil stuff is sorted first, and then the military. The military we can make up for with skill, which I definitely do have. <laughs> nah, that's going to be difficult. This game has wonders, doesn't it? Yeah, I think Stonehenge counts as a wonder. We'll see when we take it. Uh, is that everything? Ah, family stuff. Alright, so. Ofer here is the general. Alright, he's got 51 influence. We need this person to find a wife. So, seek wife. And we've got some governors here. Right. Let's check what traits they all have. So, plus 3 morale when defending, he'll be a better general. Plus 3% tax rate. And, right, the tax rate guy, he goes into uh, the Mercia region. And what edicts can we get? Yeah, definitely that. Extra growth, definitely. And cheaper buildings. Ooh, do I actually... Yeah, you know what, I'll pay for them to get them built a turn earlier. Good luck for the campaign. I don't need it. I'm so good at this game, I don't need the good luck at all. But thanks anyway. I'm doomed, aren't I? <laughs> How old is it? How old? 42 and he's 21. Right, those are good ages to work with. Uh, I think... Yeah, I think that's enough for now. That's enough for now. I think we can end for turn. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Ooh, they want a non-aggression pact. Nope. Because I plan to go to war with them immediately after getting rid of these Welsh. Right, mission issued. Form the Kingdom of England. The Kingdom rises as a reward. Five morale for all forces. Five growth. And some other stuff. That lasts forever. Own the provinces of Wessex, Mercia and Northumbria, so England. Yeah, we'll definitely be going for that. Alright, that's okay, I think. Alright, now you, you need to take one of these roles. What do we give this guy? He's the governor, so he needs governor stuff. Plus, plus two public order. That's good. We might make him Royal Companion. Makes him a bit more loyal as well. Doesn't need loyalty though. Integrity? Nah. Tax rate? Maybe have a bonus on that. I think the tax rate. Although if they're paying low tax, does it really matter? I guess more... Ooh. Hold on. He gets more influence than this one. It's That's plus three per turn, so I'll put him there. You, you're going to be a general eventually. Uh, once he gets a bit more influence, we'll put him in a military role. Right, this army, move over to Chester. And we'll take we'll take that settlement as soon as we can. Try to get all of Wales conquered. What more units can we get? I think we're fine with the cavalry. Javelins and archers are all good. I'd like some Axemen. Yeah, get those onto the front. Anything we can build here? No. One more turn until we fix that. Right, and turn. I love Attila Tulsa White. It feels so nice to actually come back to it. I really need to try the 1212 AD mod. I really cannot wait for that. Ooh, they're attacking me. Right, they're attacking by sea though, which gives us an, an advantage. Kill their cavalry first. We got the spearmen, and then this boat should do an excellent job of them. I really do love this game, especially the Age of Charlemagne. It feels so good. Try don't keep stuff political in chat. 
I don't want to see any political talk in chat at all. Uh, that's a rule. Mostly because, you know, someone's bound to get angry at some point. Even I do at times, you know, if, if you have got a really stupid... If you've got a really stupid opinion. <laughs> Alright, what do we need to do? I'm thinking... Which way does this barricade face? Right, face is that way. Good. I'm thinking of... Yeah, putting the archers here. Give them... If you've got archers on a barricade, give them heavy shot. Uh, cause they fire faster on the barricade, so... Uh, they're gonna do more damage and it doesn't have the same... The same penalty. Right. Then you can go here and hold that bit. And you can hold this bit here. Like that, and then the boat. They're coming from this side. Ooh, all the way over there. Right, try... I don't think... I don't think we're going to catch up to them. Maybe just land. Right, yeah. Dock here, land there. Right, Spearman, hold out. Archers, try kill the cavalry. A little guidance for a rookie moderator will be appreciated. Uh, don't be afraid to be too brutal. There you go. Uh, the rules are in... You know, it's sort of the same rules that are in the discard. Uh, just basic timeouts if people break them. Yeah, ha have fun with it. Have fun with it. <laughs> That's all I can really say. Right, do we have our swords here yet? Oh, there. Are the swords? He has a sword icon, but he's carrying a spear. That's annoying. Right. Yeah, so archers are now going to fire that heavy shot. Get a load of extra kills. Come on. Fire. Fire. There we go. Yeah, because the fire quicker went on the barricade. Right, you try to get over here. And they're not going to charge our spear wall, so we're fine there. Right, you have to break out of formation, but I'm worried they might start coming this way around. Yeah, if anyone gets uh, too political, just time them out for a bit. If you're ever unsure, feel free to add one of the Discord mods. Uh, they're very familiar with it all. Right, good, they did charge our spears. We've got a tower shooting in. Tower's gonna get a lot of friendly fire though. Right, archers. Uh, I can't do much right now. Right, this Spearman squad, maybe try and get round. Nah, actually, I think they'll be better over here, just holding a second line. Yeah, I need to get a couple more mods in the chat. Definitely. Wait, Napoleon Complex, are you even on the Discord? <laughs> I don't think he is. Ah, well. He'll figure it out. Right, uh, Spearman, yeah, you can charge him now. Charge him, be a bit more aggressive. Get that general killed. Uh, get the sword Spearman up here. Right, whatever. I've got to actually zoom in on this. They are Spearman. That symbol there is lying to me. They are Spears. Alright, come on, Spearman. We really need to kill the Cav. If we can get the general dead, I think this battle will be worth it. That's all what we really have to do. You get round here. And defend the archers. Don't let them get behind me. You might be better off at this point getting off the barricade. So you can actually fire at those. Melkor's voice is so calm. And now he can... <laughs> I didn't read the full comment, but something about it can be used as a sleep melody or something. Uh, what is it? <laughs> yeah, going to sleep melody. Melody, right. I'm glad people like my voice. I'm glad. Considering that for most of my life, pe uh, my voice has been very mumbly, and most people have said that they can't understand me, 
So a lot of doing YouTube was about trying to get advice that people can understand. So it's great to know that people actually uh, do like how my voice sounds now. But uh, that's always good to hear. Right, try and circle these if possible. It's going to be difficult, but I think we might be able to do it. Archers. Right, fire in normal shot and fire at their archers. Have you ever thought about Islam? Uh, not as my own uh, religion, but you know, I've, I've thought of it, uh, but not as anything to take up. Um, I, I'm assuming you mean as an actual religion. Uh, no, I haven't. There's some stuff in there that I do like, though. Um, I would like to experience the... I can't remember what it's called. The thing where they don't eat that much. I don't really know what it's called. Oh, our unit's broke, really. Right, you've got a fire in there, then. When they don't eat that much for a certain amount of time. Um, yeah, I, I do like that idea. It could, like, build some strength, but... Never actually considered it. What accent is that? Uh, Yorkshire. Northern England. I've done a break. I thought we were actually done a... I thought we were actually done do it for a second there. I thought we had them. They were breaking, we had them almost encircled. Ramadan, is that it? Yeah, fasting. It's next month. Ooh, good luck with that. Yeah, I don't think I'd be able to survive it, but I find the idea of it interesting. Right, there we go. I had to move that webcam down. Hopefully that's a bit better. My chin was disappearing. Yeah, I'm close to York. Hold on a minute. I'm really warm right now. i got to take some clothing off. Really warm day today, I don't know why. Uh, right, so, another Welsh army attacked this army, which is annoying, but I think we can beat it. What's the terrain? How old are you? I'm 21. 21 years old. We got we get the high ground. Alright, let's do this. We can win it. Yeah, this is going to be a good one, this battle here. Done to decide quite a lot, I think. Alright, archers lose formation. They're attacking us, and we get the high ground. I really like this bit here. Yeah, so I'm going to take this. Alright, so secure myself up here. I want one spearman, two spearman squads. To move up for that, uh, yeah, that there will do. Get the cav here. Javelinmen, I want them on this side. Put the other spearman squad here like that. And then the swords can hold back for now. Keep them safe. Wait, our general's not a cavalry unit? Right, keep him back then. That means we don't have... Uh, our, that means our cavalry's not even anymore. Uh, they have a slight advantage. His hair reminds me of Caesar. <laughs> don't ask why. Okay, I won't, I won't. Yeah, everyone, read the rules, make sure you all follow them. Some mistakes here and there are okay. We all we all break the rules at some point. Uh, but as long as you, generally speaking, do follow them, it's all right. Archers, can you fire yet? No. Don't have that good range. But then again, I guess they don't either. Alright, we got a general over here. We need to do something about that cav unit. 
Right. Uh, this isn't, don't, this isn't looking good. Right, we do actually have to pull the spades back then. Actually, no, 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 no. If we go into spear wall, that defends us from missiles, doesn't it? So actually... Stop what you're doing as well. Right. Are they still done being spear wall? I think they are. I think that's okay. Right, you charge there. You charge into them. Ah, oh, I've messed it up. I've messed it up. <laughs> right, swordsman, get over here. Right, come on. You you two kill that cavalry unit there. Right, general, get here. Swordsman, get here. Spears. Right, they're pushing on this side, so you cave in onto them. You defend against the cavalry. Right, now charge out at them. Oh, general, go for the axes, okay. Right, you need to get out. Avoid those spears. General, what have you got? Um, ability... Right, fear, okay, okay. Right, you help them out. Hopefully they're not getting friendly fire. Right, luckily we got their calf distracted as well. First Attila battle in a while, so I'm gonna be a bit rusty. Come on, you gotta break them. Right, javelins now fire at the axes. Uh, you fire at their general. Spears go for their general. I don't really know what it does, but use it on them. Ah, oh, poo, they caught my cavalry. I think we're gonna lose them. Right, good, good, good. We really need to kill the general now. You charging onto them in melee. You go for the general too. You go for him. Uh, you stop firing at the general. Fire at the spears. Right. Cavalry, get out of there. Just leave. 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 We broke their cav. Try run them down, maybe. If you can. What's important now is killing their general. Get him surrounded. Come on. Come on. Put a load of pressure. Ah. Our units are breaking. Right, you fire at the axeman then. You chase him down. Rest of you. Right, kill the axeman. Right, archers now fire at their general. Ah, come on, cavalry. I didn't mic for my calf that well. Not used to it. But I think we should win this battle. We should have it. There we go. They're broken. Cavalry. Go take them out. Archers. Regroup up the high ground. Come on, just kill the general, and then that should definitely be it. Right, you take the high ground again. Let the cavalry take out the missiles. When we broke the general, can we actually get a kill on him? Which faction are you fighting against? Uh, some Welsh one that I cannot pronounce. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we got the general, good. There we go, right, cavalry run them all down. Uh, it's one of the Welsh ones, I'll I'll check in the middle. Yep, I did it, we got the win. I was a bit worried there, it was my first battle on anything to do with Attila in a while, so I was a bit worried, but we did it, we got the win. Now let's run them all down, and let's replenish from them as well, because we get double money from that. And then that should allow us to push up onto the other Welsh. Playing as Mercia. Although the title says that as well. By the way, the next live stream is going to be... Well, tomorrow, but the next uh, series is going to be... Um, for Divide and Conquer version 4.0. We're going to be playing as Gundabad on the Thursday and the Friday. Should be good. Yeah, Gundabad. One that I've been really looking forward to.
Uh, just try and avoid religion altogether at this point. Um, you know, it's it is done. A, it, I think it's fine how it is right now, but it could run the risk of getting messy, and I can't keep watching the chat. So, yeah, it's always best to just avoid it. I know I was talking about it earlier, um, but yeah, maybe it's better to just avoid it. Did we completely smash their army? Oh, we got one swordsman unit out. Right, take on the units. Uh, that's 12% replenished, so we'll do that. Uh, thank you, Sam D Sam Disk, Sam Disk, for the five pound donation. Thank you. Where's your hat? Uh, I'm not wearing my fez today, sadly, but uh, you know, I might, I might have it on in a future stream. Maybe. Uh, thank you there for. We got a war wave in this. Yeah, oh, yeah, because they attacked us there. Uh, yeah, rule by decree. Yeah, but thank you for the £5 donation. Halfway towards our goal already, uh, which is always very good. Uh, donation link is in the description if any of you are interested. Alright, what can we do here? So, what's he picked up? Two authority, that's good. Uh, what's this? Uh, he's not governing anywhere, so maybe not that. Go for the authority. Uh, campaign movement range, ooh. Battle movement speed, yeah. Plus two public order. Right, so this is the public order route. This is the campaign route. Well, we'll get double authority first because, yeah, that helps public order and morale, which is very important. Uh, do we smash this army? Yeah, just get them out of the way. Yeah, just ought to resolve them out of here. Ah! Yeah, we might as well take them. Okay, right. Let's... Do we move on to these now? Do we move on to them? Or do we have one turn of replenishing? Get into the settlement for one turn. We'll replenish and get some more troops. What do we actually need? I would like another cav unit, but they're going to be expensive. Yeah, they're really expensive. So are the Axemen. Right, I'm actually going to go for two archers. And I'm going to go for a spear unit. Any mercenaries? I don't, nah, we don't need them. We're okay there. Two turns until that's upgraded. Uh, do I repair this? Yeah, I'm going to have to repair the main settlement. Ooh, I'll repair, do I repair the farms? Yeah, repair the farms. I think that's everything, is it? Yeah, I think that's everything I need to do. Ah, we can get a tradition for this, this arm here. Uh, morale or replenishment, we gotta go morale. Definitely. There we go. Wall waviness has decreased. Good. Yeah, come on, chat. Keep it away from pol uh, political chat. Come on. I don't want to be giving out bans for it. Uh, not for something like that. Uh, can we actually move out this turn? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. We didn't lose too many. Right. Ooh. We had more troops than I thought, but these ones are out at sea. So we do actually have time to get in there and get set up. Uh, what is the settlement going to look like? Any walls? Right, no. No walls. We can do this. We can do this. Ooh, Melkor playing Attila. Yeah, some Asia Charlemagne. I'm really happy to be getting back into Attila stuff now. Now I'm getting used to playing the game and reading chat. It feels good. Feels good. Uh, we don't want snow. Or fog. Or snow. Or fog, come on! I think this is the first time where I've never had the option for dry weather. Right, I gotta move this down. I hate my chin getting cut off. There we go. That, that should be better. Hopefully that's better. On a slightly different seat this time. Melkor, which is better? Melkor, 
Which is better, Napoleon or Empire? I am thinking of buying a, buying a new one. Napoleon. I would definitely go for the Napoleon. Every time. Um, it's just... It's more like Empire, but very fixed. Yeah, Napo Meltrow has evolved. Yeah, it's just like Empire, but fixed, and... Uh, you know, it doesn't have. You don't have the Americas in there. The map is a bit smaller, but overall, I think, you know, I think it makes up for it. Right, just rush into the settlement. I think. What do they have? Right, it's just a lot of cavalry, isn't it? But I do want to rush in because I don't want to deal with this. Where have they done actual land? If they've done a land here. We might be able to um, actually kill them off. Hmm. Right, do we just? Ru I don't think we run into the settlement. I don't think that's the plan. The enemy us. We do have the numbers to do it and then capture the plaza bit. Although it won't give us the win, it will help us out. Hmm. Is it okay to homeschool my future children um, history with Total War Profiled? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Even though a lot of the episodes are joke comedy episodes, I think you should be fine. <laughs> Alright, what do we do? Napoleon is better, but Empire is bigger, yeah. Right, it all depends where their ships are coming from. Uh, maybe walk a little bit forwards to avoid, but still avoid the towers, and then we'll see. What are they gonna do? They are actually coming this way, aren't they? They are willing to land outside, right. Uh, that changes things up a bit. Right, archers get like that. Javelinmen, just watch our back. Right, spears form the front line. Slow them down. Right, and then the cavalry get, get here. Yeah, I think the cab should be fine there. Right, get get set up like this. If they're gonna land here and not in the settlement, we can make we can take advantage of this. Which faction are you playing as? Mercia. Mercia, the one in England. Very good faction, I think. Right, archers. Do you actually have? Yeah, they, they got range. Not the best. Maybe move a bit further. Ah, it's a bit too late, I think. You two can turn around, fight. There we go. Right, form the spear wall. You two get round here. Right, now hopefully they should break. Right, we do need to get the axemen in there, though. So get the axemen in. And hopefully we should be able to really hurt them around. Are we getting friendly fire? Yeah, we are. We're getting a bit of it. Right, stop that then. So these two boats are going to pull back. Maybe... Maybe actually archers stand here. And then we can fire in at the back of them. Got to be careful of that tower though. Yeah, that tower's firing at me. I've got to move a bit further this way. Right, you get out of that, move forwards and then hit them in the back. Yeah, I'm, I'm not playing Thrones of Britannia, um, even though that would be good for an English unification campaign, I don't want to play it. <laughs> right, take them out. Archers, yeah, try fire onto that bot when they drop in. Kill them, we got to get out of here quick because I don't like being in range of that tower. Right, now they've landed. Have they done a fire? Or do we actually wait for them to get off the boat? He's flying. I saw that. They're flying. <laughs> right, we got to pull, pull the archers back. Uh, get the general in. Get the cav over here. Right, axemen. Yeah, go for their archers. Uh, it's turning out to be a bit messier than I thought it would be. Right, general, attack them. 
Can't go for them. No, oh, they charged right through the spares, didn't they? Right, you charge into them. And then... There was another archer squad here that just disappeared. Did they get back on the boat? I don't know. One unit disappeared. I'm sure they did. You fire at the swords. Yeah, this is looking good. We're done. Destroy this army. Before they can even get to, into the settlement, which is going to be a massive help. I don't like that tower shooting at me. Alright, come on, break the archers. Have we got them? Yeah, yeah, good. Get the cav out of there. Archers. Uh, try firing at them now, I think. Fire at them. Come on, break the spears. Good, we got rid of them. Now go for the archers. And then this should be this Welsh faction gone. Oh, we'll still we'll have to we'll have to take the settlement still, but there's not really that much in there. And we do have an advantage against those units, I think. Right, stop firing. Right, just break them, and then that should be it. Right, triple speed it for now. Just get all of them out of the way with. Get out of range of the towers. Final unit and boom. There we go. We got the first army dealt with. Look at that balance of power as well. Yeah, Rome 1 is the best. Uh, best for new players as well. Uh, it really gets you into the basics of Total War. Does everyone in Yorkshire pronounce gonna, donna, yeah, yeah, we do. We know it's wrong as well, uh, we know it's a uh, wrong pronunciation, but we do it anyway. Uh, it's just part of how we are. How many viewers do we have right now? 60 viewers. Uh, if you enjoy the stream or any of my videos, uh, please do share. Oh, they came back. Right, Cav, can we actually get in there and take them out? I don't want to have to deal with them. Come on, get in there and then quickly get out. Gonna lose some units to the towers, but it'll be okay. Right, now make sure they break. Right, there we go. Right, pull back out again. Right, how are we going to approach this now? How do we go about it? Right, this tower is like this. Yeah, so the best spot to be in would be to stand here. That way only this tower will shoot at us. Right, let's move, get the archers in loose formation. Let's move them there, let's bring two spare units at the back ready. Like that. Cavalry get right on the edge ready to charge in, if we need them. Right, and let's... Yeah, let's use up as much ammunition as we can. I might try and actually burn down that tower if it's the only one that's going to shoot at me. Yeah, I think that's... Let's try burn that down. I don't know how good... How effective it'll be, though. Come on, get set up, and let's try burn it down. Right, how effective are these archers going to be? That doesn't look... No, not at all. 1%? No, they're doing nothing. Right. In that case, heavy shot on the cavalry. Spearmen move forwards. Ah, we're going to come in range off of the towers, I think. Right, luckily it's only archers and we are in loose formation though. So even if they are shooting back at us, it's okay. Right, these two spare you Yeah, these two spare units, try capture that. You stay here, just in case I try do something with that calf unit. Yeah, go about go about Attila village sieges very slowly. Use all your ammunition first, to minimise losses. 
Right, yeah, push for the tower, I think. Push for the tower. Archers, have you destroyed the cav unit yet? Yeah, near enough for spears. Should definitely be able to deal with them. Right, now get up. Fire at the spearmen. Heavy shot, fire at them. You capture that tower, get, bring it down. The cav are no threat to us. And then pull them out of there. Because we got rid of the cavalry unit. And we're bringing it down. Uh, actually, set up like that. Then get in spear wall. To, uh, yeah, help protect against the darts. There we go. So then those archers cannot really do any damage to us. Come on, capture the tower. Archers, are you firing yet? Yeah, come on, you need to do a better job. Right, we can move the cav forwards now. Yeah, Melkor, genius tactics here. What about 12-12 mod? I can't wait to get into that. Uh, it should be in one one week. I just need a bit more time to learn it. Ah, the tower did catch fire because we set the building behind it on fire. Ah. Alright, uh, send the swordsmen in. Uh, cavalry, you go deal with them. Get the swordsmen and the axemen up here. We're going to lose this unit. Yeah, we're going to lose that. Now, I'll try and get them back to safety a bit. Archers, what are you doing? Why haven't you gotten any kills yet? Right, fire at the cav instead then. Are they charging at me? Yeah, I think they are. Maybe, I don't know. Either way, stand at the front so you can stop them. Come on, cavalry, avoid the spearmen and kill the archers. Come on, try and get around them. Good. I like how they jump as well. That's a nice touch. I like that. Right, you actually maybe go for the swordsmen. Yeah, go for the swordsmen. Right, you push onto the cavalry and you get a few final shots in onto the spears. A normal shot. No! Uh, yeah, get the cavalry out of there. That was a mess. That was messy. Yeah. Who is Meltor fi fi uh, fighting now? Just another Welsh faction. I don't know who. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Don't know what the name is. But it's just another Welsh one. Ah, that's where the general is. Right. Fire at him then. Get the spearmen over here going for him as well. Archers, you take them out. Right, cavalry, just get out of there. They're done. They've done what they had to do. Hopefully they don't charge at archers. Hopefully we can get our spears there in time. Oh, come on, just fire at them. Right, there we go, we broke them. I think we can triple speed it now. It's under control. Yeah, the stream though has only just started, you haven't really missed much. Let's make sure they get run down. Ah, oh, we lost our cav units. Ah. Well, hopefully they can replenish quickly. But why did it teleport me over there? Right, archers, move forwards, shoot at the spears. You get round this way. Careful how forwards you go. Right, there we go. I'm doing just... Yeah, just take the win and leave. <laughs> Ooh. When will they release Medieval Free Talk to War? Ah, I got no idea. I don't know. I think it will happen someday. Uh, I just don't know when. Uh, yeah, just occupy this settlement. That faction there is dead. Right, uh, that'll repair naturally next turn anyway, so we might as well 
put our money into building that back up. Ready for battle. We've got some more experience. Do we go public order? Yeah, I think we do. Get a public order to help with the newly conquered settlements. I might as well, yeah, just to make sure, I'll do that. Uh, public order's low here. Instability though, that's going down. Alright, that's okay then, that's not too bad. Hey Melko, I bet your sub subscribers will double if you got a shout out from Legend. Um, he did already give me a shout out, what, shout out at one point sort of thing. Um, he, on one of his streams he watched uh, one of my videos, uh, that happened about twice. I didn't actually gain that many uh, from it, but you know, overall I was happy that he was there and it was good fun. Right, we can get a new governor now. Uh, I do actually want to put one of them in here. Strategist. Strategist. Taskmaster. Hmm. Right, you know what? Let's see. Ah, oh, that's morale. Right, he can go into Wales then. Yeah, it'd be great if Legend would, but I don't think he would. And also, I'm unsure with how much it would really help. You know, he is, he is a massive channel, but just because he shouts me out doesn't mean that people will come over and actually like my channel, so... Yeah, it all depends on stuff. He did it... He did in a stream some days ago, did he? I can't remember that. Uh, well, I, I had no knowledge of that. I know we did uh, about a year ago, uh, but nothing, nothing recently. All right, where are we? But overall, Legend is doing a great job with his own channel. Uh, do we actually chase after these? I don't think we do. I think we're okay to just leave them. We do need some more money, though. We might actually be best... Right, yeah, come round this way. I want to see what these have. I want to take this settlement. I think we can do it. Yeah, let's actually push up onto these. Uh, light battering ram and get some ladders. Continue siege and starve it out for a bit. Any mercenaries, I'll, I'll look into that next turn. Ooh, we can upgrade this when we need to. Uh, good experience. Uh, plus two authority. Uh, it doesn't mean that much. Yeah. Spread religion. Everyone's Christian, that means nothing. Uh, yeah, public order. And yeah, go for that if we ever need it. And new technology as well. Hmm. I'll go for the replenishment. Yeah, get the basic ones done. Is that everything for this turn? I think so. I could get another army and help reinforce. And I might actually do that because I need my faction heir to get some experience. What's his name? Oh, did he? Uh, a channel which is growing these days like Melkor's. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I didn't know that. If someone can, uh, like, get a clip or a timestamp of that and uh, send it to me in Discord, uh, that'll be much appreciated. But yeah, I am one of the, you know, I'm, I am one of the only, like, small channels that is actually still growing at a decent level, like, when was the last time a Talk to War on the channel hit 10k? It, it has happened uh, recently with some, but um, you know it's more of the Warhammer 2 streamers. The last time a historical YouTube channel that does Talk to War only and the historical Talk to Wars hit 10k subscribers was all the way back in 2016, I believe. All the way back in 2016. Which is impressive considering that mine hit it in 2020. Uh, 
Oh, that's nice to hear. I didn't I didn't know that. Uh, surprised no one sent it to me on Discord, but ah oh, well. Uh, thanks for letting me know. That's interesting. Uh, what do we need here? Authority. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. Anything better? No, I'll take the authority. And an upgrade. Extra tax, more authority. Yeah, he's going to have loads of public order, which we really need here. We really need to get that sorted. Yeah, that was nice of Legend. I love Legend. Uh, it was my first Twitter follower as well. Uh, yeah, which... Yeah, he's great. Alright, then. Can we actually take this? I'd rather actually take it with an auto-resolve. Mm, we might have to... Oh, yeah, I was gonna... Ah, poo. I was gonna put my general in command of an army. Right. Well, my faction air, right. What's his name? Egg Griff. Egg Griff. Right, let's get him in here. Right, raise army, get him a settlement. That helps with public order, which is good. And yeah, we get better quality units now. You'll spam some spares out to help with this settlement. We'll probably just auto resolve that one. I don't want to fight a siege, especially this early on. Far too much risk. Uh, what's everything else is fine, I believe. Yeah, that's going to be a problem once Imperium starts increasing. Will you play Banner Lord? Maybe someday. I'm sort of waiting for a discount uh, when it's 50% off or something. So it's going to be quite a while away yet, but I do want to play it someday. Which do you think is more important? Ah, oh, I've always wait. I've always wanted someone to ask me this. Authority 100%. That is by far the best. Just look at this. Plus 14 morale and plus 7 public order. Morale and public order are one thing in game, in battle. No matter how good you are, you can't really manage uh, sort of thing. Uh, but these here, you know, sea battles at night, do you really need it? Upkeep, it's taught to war. Money's not really much of a problem. You can always get more money. Uh, melee defense, you know, that's good, but... At the end of the day, it's it's not much compared to authority. And you get maintenance cost for governed buildings. How many buildings actually have a maintenance cost anyway? And with zeal, you know, that special ability is just meh, okay. Uh, missile damage, okay, that, that's good. Missile damage is good. Um, charge bonus is good. Melee damage is good. But overall, authority is by far the best. As these only help in battle. You can win really any battle if you've got the skill, but you know it doesn't matter how skilled you are, whether you're completely new or top level player, authority is always going to be best. Definitely by far. And then maybe go zeal. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know about between zeal and cunning. Just depends on what you want. Hey, welcome your Total War Master to the stream. Yes, we got uh, the face cam today and every day. Uh, face cam is on all the streams. Uh, yeah, I decided to uh, set this up. I like it. You all get to see this beautiful face right here. Uh, do we intervene? Uh, what's going on? So, blah, 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 blah. Should she be allowed to? Yeah, I don't care. Right, so it's just this random guy here. You know what? Sure. Sure, I give my blessing. Uh, how's balance of power and stuff? That's all okay. Right, this guy here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we got a governor, don't we? Yeah, I forgot to move him in. Uh, he can go there for the extra tax. Yeah, get him some experience from that as well. Right. Um, how long do we have? How long? Turns until supplies run out. Right, I think we can just move this guy in. 
Oh, buildings are okay, aren't they? Yeah. And then I think we can auto resolve it. Yeah, those are much better odds. Should lose uh, far fewer troops this time. Fez camp, yeah, I need to get my Fez back on someday. Everyone's been asking about it almost. Definitely need my Fez. I like my Fez. Uh, 504. Yeah, I'll I'll rebuild that food market. Uh, they they will they will repair over time. Muster hall. I'll keep it for now, but I'll probably destroy it later. Right, this region here I think is fine. I think it's okay. It's only going down by by minus one now. This one's definitely fine with public order. That's definitely okay. Right, so we'll stay here for now. Build up some more money. What can we recruit? I do want another cav unit. Yeah. I'll go for an axeman. So we got four of them. And then I, that's enough. I don't want to overspend. Yeah, I don't want to overspend. Yes, you're a total war master. I know. I know. Although I'm not going to repeat what it said. Time to march on your home region, York. Ooh, I should do. Yeah, we, we, we can't genocide them though. We'll have to occupy it. Ah, oh, winter hit. Um, right, you fortify so we don't take any losses. Oh yeah, integrity as well is something you gotta watch. Gotta be very careful about that. Especially in Asia Charlemagne. I remember my first campaign with this. Integrity. Completely messed me up. Because it's much harder to manage in this game. But I like how it works. Uh, it, w it works much better than it does in Attila. In Attila it's there, but it's never really much of a feature unless you play as a hard faction. Alright, what do we need in this settlement? What shall I go for? I would like a church. A hostel. Uh, another church for that extra bit of public order. Nah, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we should actually be okay there. I don't think I'll build anything for now. What do we need? I might build the woodcutter once we can afford it. The real question, is Melkor actually Mexican? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, we want to go to war with these guys now. Uh, no, is the answer. No. Uh, no, we're not going to raid. Imperium? No, it's just going to make it hard, isn't it? Yeah, fatigue rate. Campaign movement range. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'll go for that. Hold on, hold on. Reach Imperium level 3 and these missions run out. There is one where we've got to research a certain technology. We've got to get that one. What do we get? Like, that would be good. We've got to get it before we reach Imperium 3. Where are we actually at? Is that 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Oh, I got no idea. Where are we at now? Is that... I think we're in two, are we? Either way, I think we're okay to go down that route. Shouldn't be... Shouldn't be a problem. Right, let's check our diplomacy. Best April Fool's joke ever. Ah, uh, what was it? I've done quite a few. I'll have to think about that one. I've really got no idea. Right, we can just straight up go to war with these. Hmm. Alright, let's uh, get them under siege. I'm actually going to bring the reinforcements down now. 
of I might just stand on the border. Yeah, get some more archers, stand on the border, get those, and then move in next turn. If they attack us, that's good for me. We'll be defending, and we're next to a mountain as well. Uh, one April Fool's joke I did like, do you know those celebration boxes? Uh, well, my sister got one. Um, um, I can't remember when. And what I did was I cut the bottom bit off. And I just put it on the table so it looked perfectly normal, but it didn't actually have a bottom. And so when she went to pick it up, they all went everywhere. Yeah, that's one of my that's one of my personal favourites. Um, with my April Fool's jokes, they're they're usually very small, annoying things. I like to annoy people. People in my Minecraft server will understand that completely. Because <laughs> uh, not my Minecraft server, Minecraft Realm in the current event. Yeah, people who are in that will understand exactly what I mean. I love to annoy people. Yeah, that's more what my April Fool's stuff is all about. Just about being annoying. As annoying as possible. I can't take a post yet. Hmm. Right, any politics... Any politic... Yeah, any politically stuff we need to do. Uh, I think he's okay. He's got some spare influence. And uh, let's get some funds. And then this guy here. Why is everyone blacked out? Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, he didn't find a wife, did it? So we need to get him some more influence. And then let him find a wife. Yeah, we need to get working, working on that so we actually have an heir. Ah, unassigned. He's the governor. Um, ooh. Plus 10 public order from military presence. Eh, from military presence. Shame it had to add that bit. Uh, plus 2 authority. Yes, we'll go for that and we'll go for those two. Uh, where are my generals? Right, he could actually do with that. So yeah, any settlement that he's passing in with his army, um, it gets 10 public order. Uh, which should help out, and let's give him, yeah, we'll give him that. And where's our faction leader? What can he have? Has he got good stuff? Uh, that's pointless. That's We're not going to get much use there. Uh, extra armor for commander's unit, yeah. And yeah, I'll take the authority for him. What's he got? Ammunition, yeah. That's okay. That's all okay. End turn. Now call the joke here. Raise York. No, I can't raise York. I can't do it. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that though. Right, we got a retreat. I kind of like it because it pulls them away, but now our faction heir is at risk. This is not good. I don't like that. <laughs> Lovely conversation yesterday. Uh, too bad I couldn't talk. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm often in the. What's it called? Um, on my Discord server, I am often in. Oh, this bit's better. Uh, what's it called? Voice chat. Yeah, voice chat. But I never connect my microphone. Uh, just because you know, usually, I, usually I can't do it because uh, other people are sleeping. But. Yeah, I was in it yesterday with some people from the Minecraft realm, uh, seeing what they had to say. Yeah, I got outmaneuvered there. I did not expect them to pull off that strategy. And we can't really do anything against their missiles, so maybe just get in our little spear wall formation and try and defend. Sadly, we can't retreat. Try and get as close to the edge as possible. So that way, if we are able to retreat, at least we'll retreat off the field. There's a chance we can survive. We can do this. Mip air? Ooh, possibly. I really hope not, though. I really hope not. No one can beat me out, Yeah, exactly. No one can beat me here. 
Yeah, easy win, easy win. Right, yeah, just triple speed risk. Not much we can really do. Hopefully we might kill a general. Actually, I just hope we can get our own general out of there. That's all I'm hoping for right now. How many viewers do we have? Around 50, that's okay. This up reminds me of Hastings. Yeah, shame I don't have any horsemen. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, actually I could have moved further into the corner. Ah, oh, well. Too late for it now. Ah, I don't like that low ground, but I still like for a bit of slope. Like, they've done a shoot at me, but they're not going to do any damage because I'm in a shield wall. Or at least very little damage. Yeah, they hardly do any damage if you're in shield wall. So they're going to waste all the ammunition doing this. Hopefully we can get a load of kills on them. At least enough so that the other army can attack without trouble. Yeah, I might then come up, take this army and then go for the settlement. I think that'll be my best bet. Ah, they've just uh, hit me with arrows. What a cowardly strategy this AI is doing. Oof. Yeah, Melkov is never beaten, just lets the AI win. Yeah, obviously. Ah, oh, they are actually getting a few kills on us now though. Still got a load of ammunition left as well. This is actually good. As this way, if they're shooting at me, then what that means is we're not fighting in melee, which means a general is more likely to survive an, an arrow hit than a sword hit. Which is very good. So hopefully we can actually you know, break my general unit. He can flee the battlefield. Yeah, hopefully we can actually do that. This could work out for us. Right, come on, let my general flee. Come on, squad, flee. Flee, get out of there. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't even know if it will let us retreat. Like, if we lose this battle, it might just instant kill the, insta kill the army. That is also possible. Come on, we need to break. We need to break. General's fallen. Ah, uh, okay. There's only one thing for this then. Spearmen, come round here, try kill their general. At least try get revenge. My general go over this way, distract them. This is the only thing for it. Now we didn't get to the general. Maybe kill some cavalry. Now we didn't get flanked, and that's it. Ah, oh, that was so annoying. We lost our faction air. How did the sneak pass me? Ah, gotta be more careful of that in future. Ah oh, well. There was nothing we could have done. Retreat, my warriors. And we could have retreated as well. But sadly they got my general. A non-aggression pact, no. No. We're off to war soon. Alright, we need to get a general for this army. I don't really want one. I'd rather I'd rather that the army got disbanded. Now the general died. Uh, we'll take that guy then. Ah. We got a guy from York who faces a faces a crisis of loyalty. He has been approached by the Frankish King Charlemagne and invited to take a place at his court. Blah blah blah, right. But he's one of ours, but should we let him leave, basically? Allow him to leave. That's what he wants. I'll demand that he stays. If he's gonna stay, he's gonna be an unhappy problem, isn't he? So let's let him leave. 
There we go. I'm a nice person, that's why. Alright, we need to exterminate this Welsh population now. I just ought to resolve it. And there we go, let's kill their people. They've got to actually siege those two settlements there, so that should buy us a bit of time. Right, occupy, and hopefully we can replenish fast. What buildings do we need? I'll take that, I'll take it, and I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. Nah, we don't need that. Right, we need some more troops. What am I going to get? I'd like, yeah, I'd like for cavalry at this point. Get the extra cav, next turn we'll push for them. Let's get our upgrades. Yeah, F in the chat for the faction air. Uh, moment of silence. Right, public order. And, yeah, go for that. I am a nice person, what do you mean? Alright, let's get the wood cutter. Yeah, get some more trade resources. The more factions we can trade with, the better. Right, they're gonna put this under siege, I bet. Or maybe they might pull back. There's a chance we might pull back. Hopefully this settlement's not too damaged. Hopefully we can get that built up. Ah, oh, we need to sort our family out, don't we? We need to get a new faction. A faction air in. Ooh, they're going for that settlement. Okay, that's okay with me. Right, quickly get the army up there, though. Ooh, we can't make it. How about... Ah, what did we get out of that? Oh, those that remained were now angry. What have we got? 80 turns of... Plus one fertility in all regions. Okay, that's quite good. But massive uh, research hit for 20 turns. I think I'll take it. I think that's good overall. Alright, let's walk this journey then. 